my hollyhocks are starting to grow. This one's for last year. And I have to come here and do a little pruning, like this is my mint, I'm gonna do a lot of pruning really because this is all the new growth, you see there, all this very long stems are really old so I'm gonna cut it back. Same thing with the oregano. These very long ones are just done. And that is the new growth. And then I am gonna put all the leaves here. I'm gonna cover everything and I'm just gonna do leaves as mulch. just finished and as you can see this are my hydrangeas and they're trying to come back it did have a lot of grass around that comes from next door but I got everything out then over here just did a thick layer of leaves this one I could have trimmed but I forgot and I refused to lay it on top of the pretty leaves. My rose bush, I could have trimmed it a little bit more, but I think that would be good enough. And more mulch to avoid weeds. Those are my hollyhocks. I removed the ones that were attached and dead from last season. And this one I put it very lightly on top because I cut all the stems of the mint and I'm just leaving the new growth and there's a lot of it even under the leaves so that's gonna work out fine then here's a bunch of deeper mulch that is oregano we had a lot of growth like this that I missed oh no it was cut and I just decided to leave the new growth. That's oregano too. That's oregano too. And then the rest, I did a deep layer of mulch all the way down to the end. Now I'm gonna try to insert a clip here of when I started removing the leaves that I piled on top of the manure, the duck manure and stuff like that. 
and how full of earthworm it was. This house, and you can see it's breaking down. And I want to show you how many look earthworms are here. Look at this, and this is just by piling it on top. Look at this. Oh. I, everywhere I dig, there's more. This gets a little bit slimy, especially if you're stepping on it. But if you're not, if it's in a garden, but like this one, it really doesn't get that slippery or slimy. Um, underneath, there's a layer of the goat's manure and the straw and stuff like that. So. It's gonna help all that good bacteria. It's gonna help all the process of decomposing and make it very fertile because there are some few staples that I want to keep here, like the oregano. Some people say that they get out of control. Well, yes, it does. So just in case you're gonna plant on a bed, but if you trim it, um, you can keep it under control. And same thing with mint. I want to keep the mint, the hollyhocks, roses. This ones I don't remember the name, but they're perennials and they come back every year and they're purple and pretty. And definitely the hydrangeas. But I do have a lot of space, like right here, in between these two, and a lot towards the end where I can plant other things. So right now I'm going to protect the plants as best as I can since we're gonna get some really cold weather for a few days I think we're gonna be and the lows are gonna be in the 20s so I want to make sure that everything is protected and this way it is and it's also feeding the soil and preparing it for planting the second that I get all the little sticks to make mulch they decide they want to eat them Athena is trying to figure out where I'm talking. I don't think she knows where I am. Athena! Are you eating that stick, sweet girl? Yes, here I am. Mama! You hear that bird? He's saying, Athena! 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 Oh, 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 she's running. <laughs> 